Hi, uh, Dick Rochford here, B board 172 Mike Alpha. We're on our way to Destin, Delta Tango Sierra. Uh, we've been uh, at, we've asked for and received uh, a left uh, deviation from MEMSA because Altitude of the weather to go. Uh, that sits between MEMSA and Adglip, the hold. Our plan is to hold at Adglip as published until the, 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 the weather gets off of the airport. And the, the weather is indeed on the airport as we speak. We're close enough now that we're not able to paint that with radar because the airport's too far down this way. So let's change back to... Number two, Mike Alpha, the Phenom Jet, about eight miles southeast of the airport, was about to turn inbound on the visual uh, correction on the RNAV at 2,000 feet. He called the airport and said, would you like to visual the RNAV? What do you think? As don't stand by on that. We're planning on hold it, Aglip, till we can figure it out. Uh, stand by, please. We'd like to hold it, Aglip, till we can figure that out. To my copper. Number to my copper writer. He sounded disappointed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we're on a signed heading, so we can't move, but we might want to tell him uh, that we could take, uh, let's say, uh, right, twenty, right? Yeah. And that we're going to, we're, when we can, we'll go to Ad, Adglip, I'm calling it Adglip, Adglip, uh, when, uh, we're when we get a little close further. to being able to do that. Uh, yes, so. request uh, 30 right and direct Adglip. Number 2, Mike Alpha, fighting 200 and descend to maintain 2000. 200 and 2000 to Mike Alpha. All right, so that's perfect. Pitch trim in motion. So he's got weather radar too, so it's, it's not rocket science, and we're probably the only ones out here, but um, we're probably not the only ones that are scared, so let's see how it goes. This heading looks pretty good. I think he's trying to get us under the clouds so we can see. Oh, well, okay, but we still aren't going to mess with that. Alpha, the weather does appear to be breaking up southeast of Destin. All right, thank you, Tim Alpha. Alright, right, so encouraging news. We knew that anyway. Let's uh, let's go to map. Let's go to the round map. There's the airport, but we still got this out there. So, um, I think he wanted us to go there, didn't he? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah they rolled right down the coast, probably so. Yeah, too late for that. We're having way too much. So this is the picture now. We've been cleared uh, for the RNAV 32, heading 290, 2000 till established. And now the chart. Pity we don't have radar on the chart, but we can go back and forth. View 3 is what we want now. After Agilip, we're down to 16, so consider 16 in the window there. Yep. American 1655, continue right turn. What the white banner flashes do the next thing. Five zero American 1655. Uh, that's the uh, radar smear. The land. Number 172, Mike Alpha, I'm showing one uh, light area of small, correction, one small area of light precipitation, about four to six mile final precipitation area, about three miles in diameter. Contact Dustin Tower, 118.45. Thank you, over to Tower, to Mike Alpha. So that's Eglin Air Force Base we're talking to. And they've been very accurate with their vectors, so we're happy about that. On the other hand, we do not concur. So let's see if we can't figure that out. Me, me yeah, go ahead. Destin Tower Meridian 172, Mike Alpha, establish RNAV approach at Ace Loop. Meridian 172, Mike Alpha, Destin Tower, clear land from my 32, wind variable at 5. Clear land 32 to Mike Alpha. Say conditions. Yes. Say conditions. Right now we're pretty clear. We have uh, more than six miles visibility. We have a wet runway. No rain. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty right. clear, she says. Looks. So we, we came around this last shower. It was, uh, the radar still isn't contributing much. I've got it five up. But uh, side lobes are the evil artifact of a well-prepared radar. I just need to use a little row sine theta here. 
to make that go away. Runway is nine miles away. Here's the 10 mile ring. And that's the little bit of weather they were referring to. There's the 10 mile ring. That's the short final weather. I know it looks ugly, but we've been told it's not a problem. Got the runway in sight. Oh, very good. This is Dick Rochford. Fly safely. Train off and 